Hey, welcome back to the fifth lesson of our Photon tutorial series on how to convert your games to online multiplayers. For this lesson, we're going to be changing the camera so that it rotates to face the same direction as the paddle you're controlling. This will make it so that whether you're the first paddle or the second paddle, your paddle will be down at the bottom of the playing field. To do this, we want to open up the paddle controller script. Now once the player's paddle is instantiated, we know what the rotation of that paddle will be. So we can then use the rotation of the paddle prefab to set the rotation of the camera. And we'll just do this within the start function. We'll access the camera by typing camera.main. We can then get the transform.rotation. We can then set it equal to the transform.rotation of this object but there's a catch we only want to rotate the camera for the paddle that we own and so we're going to add an if statement around this line of code checking to see if my pv dot is mine equals true now changing the rotation of the camera will cause a new problem for the player of the second paddle and that is right now we're moving the paddle based on the world space. This will make it so that once we have changed the rotation of the camera, if I'm the second player and I try to move my paddle to the left by pressing A, it'll actually move my paddle to the right. And if I try to move it to the right by pressing D, it'll actually move it to the left. And so to fix this, we want to change the space.world to space.self. Now let's save this script and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, let's build our project and test it out. All right, so here I have my project built and running in both the standalone and the editor. I'm gonna click play in the standalone and play in the editor. Now when I try to move the paddle of the standalone, you'll notice the bottom paddle moves in the standalone, but the top paddle moves in the editor. And then when I go to the editor and try to move a paddle, it's the bottom paddle that moves. And if I go back to the standalone, we can see that the top paddle has now moved. And this is all because we are now rotating the camera to face in the same direction as our paddle. Now that's everything that we're gonna cover in this lesson on how to rotate the camera for our multiplayer pong. <laughs>